oh no, it looks like our globe is missing the continents. Let's go on a little trip around the world and see if we can find them. Let's start our trip by flying across from Pacific Ocean to here. Welcome to Asia, the world's most biggest and populous continent. Asia is the world's largest continent and in fact over 60% of the world's people live in Asia. Some of the great things about Asia is camels. The camels have the hump and they do not store water as some people believe. Instead the hump store fat keeping the camel cool in very hot desert temperatures. Now let's see what's next. This is the Great Wall of China. This is truly a marvel. It not only measures an amazing 13,000 miles, that is 21,000 kilometers long, but it also took over 1800 years to build. Now let's see what we have next. Next is Taj Mahal. The 561 foot high, that is 171 meters, Taj Mahal is made of white marble and draws millions of visitors each year. Two popular features are large gardens in the front and a raised pool with five fountains. Next are the tigers. Tigers are big leapers. They can easily jump over 16 feet, that is 5 meter, and jumps up to 33 feet, that is 10 meter, have been recorded. That's the length of a school bus. Let's put the missing name of the content at its place. It's Asia. Asia is also the world's largest producer of rice. 80% of the world's rice comes from Asia. Also, it's home to bamboo, the world's tallest grass. Asia is between Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean. Now, as we have added Asia, let's fly south across the Indian Ocean to over here. And here we are in our amazing continent, Africa. Africa has the world's longest river, Nile, at over 4,000 miles long. And there is a plenty of wildlife here, like the giraffes and elephants. Next is the famous structures in Africa are the pyramids of Giza. This amazing structure was built on the banks of the river Nile around 4500 years ago. It's believed that the pyramids of Giza took 20,000 workers and 20 years to build. Now as we have visited Africa, the second largest continent, let's put its name here. Now we have found Africa. Let's head north across the Mediterranean Sea to find this continent. Welcome to Europe home to many amazing creatures. One of the most famous structures in Europe is the Eiffel Tower, located in Paris, France. It was built a little over 100 years ago and is more than 1000 feet tall. Just visited Europe. It may look small, but it has got a lot of people that live there. It's the third most populous continent behind Asia and Africa. Now let's take a long trip from here to find the continent down here. Here we are in South America. South America is the home to Amazon rainforest through which runs the Amazon river. The second largest river in the world behind the Nile of course. The rainforest is full of animals. Now that we have explored South America, let's add its name to our globe. It goes right here, across the Atlantic Ocean from Africa. From South America, we'll head north across the Caribbean Sea to this continent. Now we are here in North America. We can find moose. Here, it is the biggest creature in the deer family. One of the most famous structures in North America is the Statue of Liberty in New York City. 
the Statue of Liberty was actually a gift from France to America to welcome immigrants both by day and by night. Since we just explored North America, let's add its name to our globe. North America is above South America. Now we're gonna take a long flight across the Pacific Ocean and head down here. And here we have our next continent, Australia. This is the only continent which is also a country. Since it's an island, Australia has tons of features. Apart from beaches, Australia has koalas, a cute animal who spends most of the days on eucalyptus trees. And of course, one of the most famous animals of Australia are kangaroos. These marsupials have a pouch to carry their babies or joys in. Let's name our island continent Australia we just visited. And now that's a happy globe. It has all the six continents we visited. Now our globe is complete. But wait, we have visited only six continents, but there are seven continents. So our seventh continent is at the South Pole. It is called Antarctica. It's too cold and inhospitable for people to live on. But it is an amazing place and plays an important role in our ecosystem. Survives the continents we have visited. First is Asia, second is Europe, third is Africa, fourth is South America, fifth is North America, sixth is Australia, and the seventh here Australia, and the seventh is Antarctica. Here. So today we learned about the seven different continents. We'll meet in the new video. Hit subscribe. Bye bye.